from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live here in San Francisco, Moscone West is the Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Hashtag SDC 2017. I'm John Furrier, co-host of theCUBE, co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media. My next guest is Hilary Carls, Senior Software Engineer at Uber. Great to have you on, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for having me. Great to have a female engineer for Uber, <laughs> uh, pun intended. Um, and all seriousness, thanks for coming on, appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Um, love talking tech here, Samsung obviously is huge with Android, mm -hmm. that's what you do. What do you do at Uber? Let's get that on the table. What's your role at Uber as an engineer? I'm an Android engineer. I work on Uber Eats, which is our food delivery product. Um, I've been at Uber for about three years now, and so I've gotten to see Uber Eats grow from just a tiny operations experiment in LA, all the way up to being in over 120 cities, mm -hmm. um, and having its own app. Uber's got that great culture of trying new things, love the iteration, and mm -hmm. our family uses the competitor, DoorDash, so I can't wait for Uber Eats to come to Palo Alto. Is it in Palo Alto yet? Yeah, it is. It is? Okay, I better try it out. So give me a discount. <laughs> can you send me a little discount code? Yeah, I can code? definitely send okay. you a discount code. Right, good, got that out of the way. <laughs> got my free phone here from Samsung as well. Thank you, Samsung, for the free phone. Um, so let's talk about um, Samsung. Obviously, this is developer conference. Mm -hmm. You're on the front lines building the app on the Android side. Yeah. Google was on stage yesterday, so there it is. It's all out there. Samsung innovating with the handset. Great reviews on the on the new eight. Mm -hmm. Great screen. This is an Apple-esque going on here. They're yeah. there. They got an IoT strategy, so they're bringing together lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. This is the new user experience. Okay. So is Android caught up? <laughs> they got Bixby. What's your experience yeah. with Android and developing in the environment? Well, I've been developing in Android for like four or five years now, and it's it's wonderful. It's open. It enables you to actually go and build um, using more of the APIs and having more uh, ability to connect into the phone itself. Um, to be honest, I love it. It's one of those where you actually get to take your ideas and ship it out to a much broader range of people mm -hmm. um, and build things that are still very, very beautiful and very usable yeah. to people. I was talking with Sam Ramjay, who's heading up um, cloud product management at Google as well as the developer um, programs across Google, and we were talking at VMworld, another conference that's more cloud-oriented, mm -hmm. talking about the user experience, and Google is hyper-focused on building open source libraries. Mm -hmm. So get from Google's going to be contributing all this goodness, you got the TensorFlows, you got all these innovations going on at Google. That's translating to the edge of the network, we're seeing that with Samsung, obviously mm -hmm. the devices are great, you got TVs that they're known for that, but the connecting the smart things is really their, their strategy. As a developer, how do you look at that landscape? Because you're looking at now tons of open source goodness coming in mm -hmm. from Google and then the communities. Android leveling up on, on capability mm -hmm. and with the open APIs. Where, where, where do you try to navigate? How do you extract the signal from the noise in the community? Um, well, basically, it's, it's, you look for whatever libraries actually are used very heavily by people that have latest commits. Um, if it comes from something like from Google or from other really strong, reputed um, uh, open source players like Square, you'll end up seeing adoption of that a lot more. Um, when you then go into Internet of Things, it becomes also like a where, how you sort of like see the community, the chicken and the egg thing of like, okay, is this the, yeah. the best opportunity to go for right now? Is the community there? Can I monetize this? Mm -hmm. um, and how do you integrate how do you it. integrate it? Yeah, I mean that's the big question. What's the integration vetting? Okay, so let me ask you a question on the Android. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, uh, Android, Apple, iOS, leveled up in terms of capability? Pretty much, yeah. What's the difference between iOS and Android? If you could explain to someone who's knocking on the door of both developer communities. Um, well, basically, it's it's a. I would go for who you're trying to go <laughs> for first. Yeah. Like, are you trying to target US and trying to target that sort of like higher end of consumer or are you trying to like have a mass appeal? For a lot of small startups, I'd actually say <coughs> go iOS first, it makes sense. But when you want to bring it to the global market, that's when you really, really, really need Android. Um, when you want to bring it to places around the world where there are more Androids than iOS, 
That's definitely something that like just needs that core experience. Yeah. Is there anything that Android has that's, because it seems to me that Android has a lot more um, unique opportunities to customize. Yes. And I think that seems to appeal to developers. When I look at our data, that we look at our audience, we have, you know, I'll say the general purpose, I call it general purpose with Apple, because yeah. Apple's like fine jewelry, you know? Okay, yeah. I want to have the, you know, the high-end suits and the high-end code, whatever. But you don't have the flexibility because it's kind of a walled garden from a developer yes. standpoint. You got the open garden with the um, Android. Mm -hmm. That community, they start playing more in open source, you're seeing blockchain, you're seeing all these kind of cool communities. What are some of the things that Android offers in this open approach that you like? Is there things that jump out at you? Is it? Uh, well, a lot of it's um, the ability, the ability then to get customized, to have better security controls, to have widgets on your home screen, mm -hmm. to, um, to even like from the developer's standpoint, to, to have more flexibility about when you, um, when you ask for permissions versus when you don't. And then also the richness of the notifications, we've had that for a while in Android. Yeah. It's like you can, you've been able to do actions and have things animate and keep like progress bars on there mm -hmm. for um, quite some time and I, iOS is finally catching up to that. And you're happy with Android. Oh, very much so. All right, so that, what's your take on the show here at Samsung? What's your uh, vibe on the show, feeling? They got some good stuff. Where do they, they, they need to stuff. work on things? Um, Positive, give me the positive review and then give me the critical, what they can do better. Yeah, I think um, actually bringing everything together in a connected crowd really, cloud makes a lot of sense. Uh, you don't, developers don't really like fragmented APIs. If you have to actually go talk to like five or six different services to get something done, um, that's a lot more effort and a lot more overhead of understanding of how to connect to each one. Um, and so bringing it all together in one place, especially if that can have the overhead of, handle the overhead of making it secure and doing data storage and all that stuff, mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Awesome. Hillary, final question for you, yeah. personal question, put you on the spot here. What's the coolest thing you've built this past couple of years? That oh. you coded, could be anything. What, what's the coolest thing that you feel? Personally? Yeah. Um, all right, so I guess it was a year and a half now. Uh, there were a team of four of us who built the new Android Eats app. And like built it from scratch in about three and a half months. And it was a team that was magical that like never happens in Silicon Valley. It was three women and a Latino dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that, we shipped it. No way. Yeah. Three months, three and a half three, months. Three and a half months. Starting in September, like shipping in early And we're January. talking on the drawing board, on the design. Yeah, like literally start to end, like first, first line of code in like early September, end of code writing, like like wrapping and shipping it up right before Christmas. That's the new formula. Three women and a Latino dude. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, anything you'd like to share uh, with the audience about just the development scene here, what you're thinking about, what you're passionate about? I just, I really, really loved the piece of using technology to build more human connection, better humanity. I, I thought that was amazing. That piece was really inspiring yeah. to me. This is the new lifestyle tech is coming, the consumerization, blending analog and digital together. This is the new normal from fashion tech to Uber Eats. Congratulations, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Hilary Carls, senior software engineer at Uber. This is theCUBE's live coverage of Samsung Developer Conference 2017 in San Francisco. I'm John Furrier. We'll be back with more after this short break.